Hello and welcome to the Daily Visual Bible. I'm Robbie Yates and it should be an interesting video today. I've still got remnants of the flu I had over the past couple of days and when I was editing the reading and read earlier it turned out to be over three pages long. So please strap yourself in. Let us try to get through this together. Reading Deuteronomy chapter 28 today let us open God's word of prayer. Lord I ask that as I read your word that you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people hear your word that you come to better understanding of you. Amen. It shall happen, if you so not listen carefully to Yahweh your God's voice, to observe to do all his commandments which I command you today, that Yahweh your God will set you high above all the nations of the earth. All these blessings will come upon you and overtake you, if you listen to Yahweh your God's voice. You shall be blessed in the city, you shall be blessed in the field, you shall be blessed in the fruit of your body, the fruit of your ground, and the fruit of your animals, the increase of your livestock, the young of your flock, your baskets and your kneading trough shall be blessed. You shall be blessed when you are born, you shall be blessed when you die. Yahweh will cause your enemies who rise up against you to be struck before you. They will come out against you one way, and will flee before you seven ways. Yahweh will command a blessing on you in your barns, in all that you put your hand to. He will bless you in the land which Yahweh your God gives you. Yahweh will establish you for a holy people to himself. As he has sworn to you, if you shall keep the commandments of Yahweh your God and walk in his ways. All the peoples of earth shall see that you are called by Yahweh's name, and they will be afraid of you. Yahweh will grant you abundant prosperity in the fruit of your body, in the fruit of your livestock, and in the fruit of your ground. In the land which Yahweh swore to your fathers to give you, Yahweh will open up to you his good treasure in the sky, to give the rain of your land in its season, and to bless all the work of your hand. You will lend to many nations, and you will not borrow. Yahweh will make you the head, and not the tail. You will be above only, and you will not be beneath, if you listen to the commandments of Yahweh your God, which I command you today, to observe and to do. I shall not turn aside from any of the words which I command you today, to the right hand, or to the left hand, to go after other gods to serve them. But it shall come to pass, if you will not listen to Yahweh your God's voice, to observe and to do all his commandments and his laws which I command you today, that all these curses will come on you and overtake you. You will be cursed in the city, and you will be cursed in the field. Your baskets and your kneading trough will be cursed, the fruit of your body, the fruit of your ground, the increase of your livestock, the young of your flock will be cursed. You will be cursed when you are born, and you will be cursed when you die. Yahweh will send on you cursing, confusion, and rebuke in all that you put your hand to do, until you are destroyed, and until you perish quickly, because of the evil of your doings by which you have forsaken me. Yahweh will make the pestilence cling to you, until he has consumed you from off the land, where you go in to possess it. Yahweh will strike you with consumption, with fever, with inflammation, with fiery heat, with the sword, with blight, and with mildew. They will pursue you until you perish. The sky that is over your head will be brass, and the earth that is under you will be iron. Yahweh will make the rain of your land powder and dust. It will come down on you from the sky until you are destroyed. Yahweh will cause you to be sought before your enemies. He will go out one way against them, and will flay you seven ways before them. You will be tossed back and forth among all the kingdoms of the earth. Your dead body will be through to all the birds of the sky, and to all the animals of the earth. And there will be no one to find them away. Yahweh will strike you with the boys of Egypt, the tumors, the scurvy, and with the edge, of which you cannot be healed. Yahweh will strike you with madness, blindness, and with astonishment of heart. You will grope at noonday, as the blind gropes in darkness. You shall not prosper in your ways. You will only be oppressed and robbed always, and there will be no one to save you. You will marry a wife, and another man shall lie with her. You will build a house, and you won't dwell in it. You will plant a vineyard, and not use its fruit. Your ox will be slain before your eyes, and you will not eat any of it. Your donkey will be violently taken away from before your face, and will not be to restore to you. Your sheep will be given to your enemies, and you will have no one to save you. Your sons and daughters will be given to another people. Your eyes will look, and fear will longing for them all day long. There will be no power in your hand. A nation which you don't know, eat the fruit of your ground and all of your work. 
will only be oppressed and crushed always, so that the sights that you see with your eyes will drive you mad. Your weight will strike you in the knees and in the legs with a sore boil, of which you cannot be healed, from the sole of your foot to the crown of your head. Yahweh will bring you and your king, whom you will set over yourselves, to a nation that you have not known, you nor your fathers. There you will serve all gods of wood and stone. You will become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword among all the peoples, where Yahweh will lead your way. You will carry much seed out into the field, and you will gather little in, for the locusts will consume it. You will plant vineyards and dress them, but you will neither drink of the wine nor harvest, because worms will eat them. You will have olive trees throughout all your borders, but you won't anoint yourselves with oil, for your olives will drop off. You will father sons and daughters, but they will not be yours, for they will go into captivity. Locusts will consume all of your trees and the fruit of your ground. The foreigner who is among you will mount up above you higher and higher, and you will come down lower and lower. He will lend to you, and you will lend to him. He will be the head, and you will be the tail. All these curses will come on you, will pursue you, and overtake you until you are destroyed, because you didn't listen to Yahweh or God's voice. To keep his commandments and his laws which he commanded you. They will be for a sign of our wonder to you and to your offspring forever. Because you didn't serve your way God with joyfulness or gladness of heart, by reason of the abundance of all things, therefore you will serve your enemies whom Yahweh sends against you, in hunger, in thirst, in nakedness, and in lack of all things. He will put an iron yoke on your neck until he has destroyed you. Yahweh will bring a nation against you from far the end of the earth as the eagle flies, a nation whose language you will not understand, a nation of fierce facial expressions that doesn't respect the elderly, nor show favour to the young, and they will eat the fruit of your livestock, the fruit of your ground, until you are destroyed. They also won't leave you grain, new wine, or oil, the increase of your livestock, or the young of your flock, until they have caused you to perish. They will attack you in all your caves until your high and fortified walls come down, in which you trusted throughout all your land. They will attack you in all your gates throughout all your land, which Yahweh your God has given you. You will eat the fruit of your own body, the flesh of your sons and of your daughters, whom Yahweh your God has given you, in the attack and in the distress with which your enemies will bring upon you. The man who is tender among you, very delicate, his eye will be evil toward his brother, toward a wife whom he loves, toward the remnant of his children who me as remaining so that he will not give to any of them of the flesh of his children whom he will eat because he has nothing left to him in the attack and in the distress which your enemy will bring upon you in all your gates the tender and delicate woman among you who would not venture to set the sole of her foot on the ground for delicateness and tenderness I will be evil toward her husband that she loves toward her son toward her daughter toward her young one who comes out from between her feet, and toward the children whom she bears, for she will eat them secretly for lack of all things, in the attack and in the distress with which your enemy will bring upon you in your gates. If you will not observe to do all the words of this law that are written in this book, that you may fear this glorious and fearful name, Yahweh your God, and Yahweh will make your plagues fearful, and the plagues of your offspring, even great plagues, and of long duration, and severe sickness and of long duration. He will bring on you again all the diseases of Egypt, which you were afraid of, and they will cling to you. Also every sickness and every plague, which is not written in the book of this law, Yahweh will bring them on you until you are destroyed. You will be left few in number, even though you are as the stars of the sky to a multitude, because you didn't listen to Yahweh your God's voice. What will happen? As Yahweh rejoiced over you to do you God, to multiply you, so Yahweh will rejoice over you to cause you to perish and to destroy you. You will be plucked from off off the land where you go in to possess it. Yahweh will scatter you among all peoples, from one end of the earth to the other end of the earth. They will serve other gods, which you have not known, you nor your fathers, even wood and stone. Among these nations you will find no ease, and there will be no rest for the sole of your foot. But Yahweh will give you there a trembling heart, failing of eyes, and pining of soul. Your life will hang in that before you. 
you'll be afraid night and day, and will have no assurance of your life. In the morning you will say, I wish it were evening, and at the evening you will say, I wish it were morning, for the fear of your heart, which you will fear, and for the sights which your eyes will see. Your way will bring you to Egypt again, with ships, by the way of which I told you, that you would never see it again. There you will sell yourselves to your enemies, for male and female slaves, and nobody will buy you. Yeah.